Hello, Johnny Hunt here, a child of the 70s, here to teach you a song from my formative musical years by the great James Taylor, Sweet Baby James. And uh, like I said before, people like the music they grew up with, and uh, you can't have too many James Taylor songs in your uh, book of songs as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to teach you another one here today. Uh, a little bit different. Again, I'm playing with a high G uke now. Just uh, made the plunge, and uh, so I got a variety of sounds. I usually play low G. So uh, I went back and looked through some of my other videos, and uh, a lot of them will translate pretty well to high G after all. Not all, but uh, I'm going to make a few here with uh, the re entry tuning and uh, see how that goes. So uh, a little difference in the key of D, which we don't play a lot on the uke, but it just the song happens to lay out well that way, and so we'll uh, give it a whirl. I'll go ahead and play through it once, and then we'll do the uh, educational part and uh, talk about all the, the different steps that uh, go together to uh, put together this song. So, Sweet Baby James. second but that's okay because uh, I guess you know there I don't like having a lot of rules with music but uh, one rule I think is important is don't break time you know carry on pick it up wherever but don't stop oh you know don't don't do that um, take it to the extreme when you mess up you can just call it a jazz arrangement and uh, if you say it with confidence nobody will be the wiser you'll be an avant-garde musician that's uh, far be far ahead of your time so with that uh, piece of free advice, let's learn how to play this here song. Second key of D, 2220. Okay, so we're on the second string, first, second, third, fourth string by my convention. So we're just going up the strings here, second, third, fourth, fourth. And then the, instead of two 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 zero, we pick up this note. So the, so we just kind of across. And then so it's two 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 two. And then A two one zero zero melody on the top string open. G two three two. Open fourth. And then the third fret third string. Oh, 
probably better to leave the top string out on this chord. So if we're in the key of B, this would be a, um, I guess, a F sharp minor. So I make, I'm, I'm, I'm fingering it like I normally would. It's actually this chord. But uh, we're just going to do, essentially, 6, okay, X on the top, 6, 5, 0. So we got the double melody here. So this is uh, S sharp minors, X, 6, 5, 0. Just plucking all three. Not the, not the uh, top string, not the G string. And then we go back to G, 2, 3, 2, 0, 2, 3, 2. Second, 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 fourth fret, second on the top string. Okay, it's actually probably a B minor chord, but that's harder to make. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the, the relative major. You know, there's interchangeability there. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the D chord. So two 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 zero D, and uh, the melody is open fourth, third string second fret, third string open back to the second fret, and then you can do a dominant seventh chord on your D because you're going to G again. Zero two three two, second 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 third second second. Back to D. <coughs> Just like the previous phrase, phrase. Open fourth, third string second, third string open, third string second fret, fourth string open. And then we have an interesting chord. We have a C chord, okay, but we're just doing the inside two strings. is uh, fourth fret of the second string, third fret of the third string. Okay, so C chord. Okay, I've got to get my place here. I needed to run into it. Measure four three x four three x and then back to D two 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 zero and we just got the uh, third string second fret pull off to open and then second string second fret and then we're going right from this D to an A two one zero zero and the melody is here on the third string. Open, open, second, open, then back to G. This is an A chord. If I said it's an E, I'm being a guitar player and I apologize. So A, two, one, zero, zero. Okay, open fourth, G chord, two, three, two. Pinky up to the fourth fret, around the top string, fourth string. with a uh, second thread of the fourth string on top. Open, and then two, one, three, your A7. Melody third fret, third string. Two, 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 zero. Same phrase. D chord, two, three, two. Second, 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 fourth, second, second. D chord, two, 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 zero. Open fourth, second fret third, open third. Okay, now here's where we are. E seventh, uh, one, two, open X. 
probably just want to play the two inside strings. Leave your thumb out. So first, uh, I'm sorry, so second fret and open on the third string. And then our A chord. <coughs> and that takes us uh, to the next part, okay. So this is an A, uh, two, one, zero, X. Good night, you moonlight ladies. Two, two, two. Third string, G. Two, three, two, but we're not playing the top string. So third fret of the third string, second fret, and then A, two, one, zero. And ten to D, two, two, two. Back to G, zero, two, three, two. Melody on the top at the second fret. A with the second fret of the fourth on top. Open, third of the third. Okay, and then the ending phrase. G, two, three, two. Third, third, second of the third string. A, two, one, zero. Two, one, zero, third string open. Second at the second, then pull your ring finger off and you're at the first fret of the second and then you're, you're home. D, just the second string, second fret. I kind of lost track of where I was. When you go slow like that, it's, um, it's a built, you know, playing a song is built on momentum and you don't always have to stop and focus intently and think because if you just let your fingers go where they know they're supposed to go and don't uh, override it by thinking too much. Uh, that usually works out better, all right? So um, just go through it one more time here and I'll just throw in a few, um, few comments. A, G, and then our up the neck chord. Six, five, zero, which is F sharp minor, G, Fourth fret, back to D, back to G, D, then our C, back to D already, A, G, A with a fourth fret, fourth string second fret on top, oh, pulling off. Third fret of the third string and back to D. G, two, three, two. Fourth, second, A, G, A. That's our D and then G. And then E. So it's a one, two, O, X. Third string. Second fret and then A two one zero and then the, the the chorus thing D two 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 X G zero two three second fret A two one zero two 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 D G A D G, two, three, two, fourth, second, second, D, two, 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 zero, E, A, G, James does a lot of these suspended chords with hammers and pulls. So like on a D chord, all, all the actions here on the third string. Okay, that's Sweet Baby James. Uh, give it a spin, see where it takes you. And if you have any questions, I'm here to answer them at, uh, not at the moment's notice, but uh, hopefully within a day or so. Uh, chordmelodyuke at yahoo.com is the email. 
and I'll, I'll try to help you any way I can. So thanks for watching. This is Johnny Hunt for the Chord Melody Uke Lessons channel. Uh, wishing you a good day. Thanks for stopping in.